Judge Judy Scheinlin is a daytime TV phenomenon who has turned dealing with stupid people into an art form. What were you cursing at them for? Because they're losers. Hey everyone, welcome back to What's Trending. I'm Shira Lazar. And this is part two of the best Judge Judy cases ever. In part one, we asked you what your favorite Judge Judy cases were. Disco Kitten says, how did the eBay scammer not get on this list? It was the best episode ever. That is right, the eBay scammer is probably one of the dumbest crimes to ever be on Judge Judy. The victim of the scam alleges she bid almost $500 for the two cell phones on eBay. The scammer running the auction didn't send the phones, but a pair of photographs. And you sent her two photographs of the cell phones. And you say that that's what she paid for, two photographs of the cell phones. Are we understanding each other? Yes. You're an idiot! Speaking of idiots, the best Judge Judy cases are decided by the slip of the tongue. In this case, Erica claims that her friend Lee gave her $2,000. But Lee claims it's a loan and wants to be paid back. Erica doesn't want to pay it back because Lee is rich. She is floating in dough. Oh, she's floating in whose dough? Hers and her husband's. Since when did you become a partner in her and her husband's money? That's what's wrong with this country. She and her husband both drive BMWs and and they have child care and they and? have and they have weekly house cleanings and she had the money to give me. She loaned she didn't loan me. She judged before the plaintiff in the amount of two thousand dollars. That's what she Thank you. Angela True Love replies, the Tupperware lady, you totally missed that one. That's right, one of the strangest Judge Judy cases involves an entire full-on Tupperware assault. Okay, go ahead. So she... And threw all of her Tupperware on me. She didn't throw all of her Tupperware on yes, you. Yes, she did. Oh. Yes, How did she, she did. Miss Roy, you're standing there, so what is what you're telling me? She took out each piece of Tupperware from the cupboard and threw it at you? What I love in this clip is the reaction of the lady right behind the Tupperware woman. Yes, she did. Oh. Yes, How did she, she did. She, can we make her a meme or something? And anyway, how does someone throw all of their Tupperware at once? She has a Tupperware cupboard, and she put her arm on one end of that Tupperware cupboard, and with all of her force, threw it on me, and I was standing behind her, and it landed on me. Karina alleges that the fight started after she was looking for her missing Tupperware in her landlord's place. And I open it up, and it's kind of on the ground, so I kneel down, and there's my Tupperware, and I grab it. And when I'm down, She's leaning her whole body into me, pointing her finger in my face. How dare you? Don't you even dare. Shame on you. That's it. I want you out of here. And she hit my head with her finger. That's when another neighbor gets involved. And Anna stood up and said, hey, and looking directly at me, and said, hey, hey, the babies, the babies, as she's looking at me. And I had not said anything through this whole entire time. And believe it or not, Tupperware Lady won that case because... The law is complicated. But one thing is for sure, Judge Judy doesn't want any baloney. He wasn't breaking into your car. Don't give me baloney. He was in my driveway. He wasn't in your driveway, he was in a public street. In this case, the neighbor is being charged for throwing a rock through a windshield of her neighbor's Porsche for playing music too loud late at night. Don't give me baloney, then we'll all be very happy. Do you understand? Yes. You lost your temper. Yes. After admitting that she threw the rock in anger, the defendant then tries to say that she was afraid for her life. Yes. When I threw the clump of dirt, the car was coming at me and accelerating at a very fast speed, never even attempted to slow down. They were coming at me. She just tried to get out of the way. Nah, baloney. That's baloney. I agree, that is baloney. Thanks for speaking up for the people, Judge Judy. And yeah, got it, no baloney. Unless it's kosher. Is there a kosher baloney out there? No idea. Tina Berg replied to us saying, what? Nah, the funniest is the sex toy lady. Sex toy lady? You mean the woman who hosts adult novelty parties for adults doing adult things? What is adult novelty? Um, we go into homes and hold parties for adults um, with lotions and potions and vibrators. That kind of adult party. Yes. The adult novelty party host alleges one of her party kits was returned to her missing a significant number of items. The bull whip, one of a set of two C rings, 10 catalogs, making love oil um, flavors, strawberry and champagne, order forms, the diving dolphin, good head. I don't even want to ask for that. <laughs> but there were still more missing items and worse, used items. Ugh, I'm sorry. The eager beaver, which appeared to be used, 
Um, so that may have been used, but we would have appreciated that to have been cleaned up before she returned it to us. Um, and then the tickling taste was broke. And that is it for part two. What's your favorite Judge Judy case and what should we feature next time? Let us know in the comments below and be sure to like and subscribe for more of What's Trending.